enjoy season 10. Season 10, cooking with the seasons. And I don't know what this recipe necessarily has to do with seasons. Of course, I think of it like, because it's a treat. Right. It's called uh, chocolate covered Snickers stuffed dates. Yeah, and which, they're in the freezer, so it makes you think you're gonna have them like when it's warmer out, I guess. Maybe. You can, you can have these whenever, whenever you, you want. want. <laughs> dates are kind of considered a winter and fall fruit or whatever thing but we get them all the time all year round cool. so, so this recipe came from pinterest pinterest yes pinterest yep. and they're really cute and they're super simple and you don't really need a recipe except for the part where you melt the chocolate you have to add a teaspoon of coconut oil to a half a cup of chocolate chip pieces yeah and that's the ratio and they're vegan and that's and the that's rest, the ratio the rest of it you yeah. can make as many as you want yeah so for this recipe you're going to need 10 medjool dates Two tablespoons of peanut butter, a quarter cup chopped or crushed peanuts, a half a cup dairy-free chocolate chips, one teaspoon coconut oil. All right, so now you know the ingredients, we're gonna get started. So you're gonna take your medjool, your medjool date. Now, I recommend getting ones that have pits in them because they're a lot moister. Wow, <laughs> moist, careful how you say moist. that. Without, moist when you get them tender. pre-pitted, they're kind of like stiff and tough and I that's not gonna be good. So we're gonna, you're gonna slide, do a slice down the middle. And don't slice it all the way through because yeah. it's not like the complete bites that we make. We want to keep this intact and take the little so thing off the end. And the pit. So and so you, you open up like a little boat kind of. And then like inside, this. inside the boat, you're going to put the ingredients. You're going to put a little bit of peanut butter. And they yep. say two tablespoons of peanut, of peanut butter for the whole thing. But I think you just, it depends on the size. It. Yeah, it depends on the size of the, of the date, right? Yeah. Yep. So we're filling up the little boat. Okay. And then you're gonna put. I think they needs to be a little fuller. I like you mean you're, then it, you it, it's it, it depends on how much how much you like peanut butter. You could also do this with almond butter. Like my husband hates peanut butter, so you could do them with oh, almond butter instead. Oh wow, Should he be hates great. peanut butter. He can't. I don't know why. What kind of a person I hates know. peanut? butter? I liked him up until this point. <laughs> all of a sudden now, Alex, no more. Okay, so that so that's ready basically to do to do the chocolate dipping. So we're gonna set that. Um, to the sides, we're gonna fill this little one. And I'm putting parchment paper down so it doesn't get all over the place. And that is like, if you're interested in presentation, I suppose we'd clean up the outsides. Okay. But they're gonna have they're gonna have chocolate on the outside of them, right? And then yeah. we're gonna sprinkle the peanuts over the top. It's really a simple recipe. Yeah. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna we're gonna prepare all the other ones um, off camera, but we're gonna get this chocolate ready. So we're gonna do a half a cup of dairy free. Chocolate chips. Where do you get those? Um, I get these just from a regular grocery store. Oh, that, is that, that looks Hello, really good. Let me help you with this yeah, one. Yeah, let me eat that one. <laughs> um, and what's cool is that if you have chocolate chips, see how they like, they you know, when you have chocolate chips a while, they get this like white kind of coating. When you melt them, that goes away, which is great. So you don't oh, have to worry cool. about it. Um, so half a cup of the dark chocolate chips. And then we're going to do a teaspoon of coconut oil. Yep, date on my finger. So I wonder why they call it okay. Snickers, because Snickers have like caramel in them. Well, the dates, because dates are like a oh, caramel oh, oh, flavor, okay. I and get the it. peanuts, I the peanut get butter, it. and the chocolate, right? Well, so they shouldn't even call them chocolate-covered Snickers stuffed dates. They it should, should just call Snickers. them Snickers. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. redundant. That's copywritten, though, so you can't yeah. say that. So we're going to put this <laughs> into the microwave at 15-second increments for about a minute or two until it's fully melted. And then we'll come back. You can also do this on a double boiler if you don't have a microwave. That's how Jake normally does it. That's how I normally do it. Even yeah. though I have a microwave, I live in the 21st century. I don't have but, one. <laughs> but Wait, you don't have a microwave? No microwave. <laughs> All right, so we got this chocolate melted. Wait, how did you melt it? In the magic of a microwave. What? I actually think it goes better in the double boiler. Yeah, myself. I think so too. It does yeah. something weird. So I would do it, next time I would do it on the, on the stove. So then you're gonna put a toothpick or some kind of thing like the skewer through there, and you're gonna just coat this with chocolate. And you can coat the whole thing if you want, or you can just like put it over the top like that. That and looks we're gonna, pretty good to me. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna put some peanuts over the, over the top. top. I probably just should do that over the peanuts. Yes, smart. Smart, I'm smart. Okay. Okay, and then we're gonna slide, slide it off. off. Ooh, it's really it messy. And slide it off when it's down. It's very messy. Okay. Okay, and that'll, that'll harden up in the fridge. Yeah. Dates are not very cooperative. This is kind of a mess. Okay. Your nails look good, though. <laughs> okay, well, that's just falling over. That's not really working. Just leave it. It's okay. Okay, well. Okay. Take two. I'll try another one. You know, I could edit that out, but I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sure, our video videographer making us look stupid. Yes. Yeah, it's me making you well, look stupid. Well, the, the, cool, the thing that we want to make sure is that, that you know is that you do not have to be a professional chef to make things that are good. What we've learned is you only have to apply. To you only have to apply to culinary, culinary school. school. <laughs> and that counts. <laughs> yeah, this is really a mess. So much for this being simple. How do they make it look so good on Pinterest? Know. See, there's people that make food look good, and then there's people who make food that taste good. It's like Charlie the Tuna, right? Charlie the Tuna. I don't know. Tuna. Don't you remember that? I remember Charlie the Tuna. But yeah, he's, he had good taste, and, and the Starkist people would say, Charlie, tuna, Starkist doesn't want tunas that have good taste. They want tunas that taste good. Uh, uh, uh. You don't remember that? I remember it was a tuna fish with a monocle and yeah. like a red beret. Yeah, and he had like art. Mm. You don't remember that? Well, I remember that. I guess I'm old. That, see, that one's too big. That one actually looks, it actually, it looks but like it actually sits, it like actually sits because it's big. upright. Mm -hmm. What if you dip it in the chocolate? Would that be Let's try well, it. Well, I, I think it'd be more of a mess. I don't think that, I'm I don't try think that, Ready, here we go. I don't think, I think that's a terrible idea. It's not even going to go. This is a terrible idea. This is Jake's idea. No, this was your idea. <laughs> it's terrible. Hot now, mess. you could do it with a fork, but it wouldn't go over the top, and that's the whole thing, is that you're trying to seal mm -hmm. the peanut butter into it. If you did this on a double boiler, the chocolate would be meltier, Yeah, in my it would, opinion. And it would, it would drip. It would, like, it would, it would actually drip, drip over yeah. the top. Mm -hmm. But so this that, is okay. I think it's going to be good. Yeah, it's working. It's working. I think it's working. going to be good. And kids don't, care what, kids don't care what it looks like. They just want to... But if you wanted it, it to be... Like, presentable. Yeah, for, like, a fancy... Thing. I think after they get... Or like a professional cooking show. Yeah, I know, like right? A professional you think you yeah, like, like something that someone was going to publish somewhere. Yeah. You want it to look, <laughs> you want it to look a certain way? Like if a professional we, we photographer were taking pictures yeah. of it for a book, per se. <laughs> we missed that in our... In our training cooking, cooking I didn't, show I only class. I only signed up for a cooking class, not for a cooking and photography class. If I would have, if I would have applied to photography school and culinary school, that would be different. Yeah. Did you apply to, to photography school, Derek? No, I taught it. You teach it, don't you? Yes, I do. Not well, but it happens. Is this done? That one's done. That was one I dipped. That was, oh, yeah. See, that, see, that, that doesn't even one. look. No, it's not. It's it does, no, the top's not even covered. So in the, in the video on Pinterest, the chocolate was a lot meltier, so it coated the whole date. But I think this but, is going to be really, really good right, still. Right, because it's going be, to be thicker. And yeah. the other ones, it's going to be thinner. So now we're going to put it in the fridge and let it set. And, and then they're done. Yeah. And, then and that's it. Done. But, and you know, they're going to taste. Film. You're going to taste fine. You want to try one right now? Uh-huh. So what I like about dates is that they have like a caramely kind mm -hmm. of flavor. So it's going to taste like a Snickers bar, mm -hmm. but better for you. It was really good. I'm getting your abandoned chocolate over here that you left behind. My abandoned chocolate? Is oh, it going to have abandonment issues? Are you ready? Oh, God. Jeez. <laughs> ready? It was pretty good. Mm hmm It's going to be good, for, the, good, cold, be, good cold. Yeah. I, I don't think I'm going to like the big ones. I would use the smaller ones because I think... You bite that one in half. You wouldn't put it in one bite. Yeah, but then it would be really messy. And it would be like this. No, because when it's frozen, it'll be... Or cold, it'll be... Sure. That's I don't know. True. We'll find That's out. True. We'll find out. Anyway, we'd love to know if you make these. And if you have any improvements to add, put it in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye! Bye.